Hey everybody, Jason here, and I'm just here to do a quick review of Bath & Body Works Applewood Bonfire. So, I'm on my third burn, and I actually really like the scent. Um, cold, I think I mentioned in the video where I um, hauled it that I got more of an apple note, and then with a little bit of smokiness in the background. But burning, the um, smoky note for me comes out more. Um, I don't know exactly how to describe the smoky note. I guess maybe kind of like a, oh, what do they call it? The campfire marshmallow fireside or, you know, like a fireside type scent. Um, some people describe it as cologne -y. I don't find that fragrance cologne -y. So, um... Uh, but yeah, it's just like kind of a smoky fireside type fragrance with uh, just a little hint of apple. And I kind of get like a more green apple, which I'm not normally a big fan of green apple, but uh, mixed with the smoky scent, I like it. Now I will say it's not super strong. Um, I would call it a light to medium throw, especially for a Bath & Body Works candle. Um, it is one of the lighter ones that I've had recently but it is as you can see burning very nicely and um, I still don't like the label somebody described it in one of my comments uh, on a, in a comment to one of my videos they described it as like um, a hobo fire down by the tracks <laughs> and that really made me laugh I mean that's really exactly what it reminds me of it's just like a burning trash can on fire so I don't love it uh, but luckily when it's illuminated, illuminated, it is um, uh, prettier burning than it is, you know, just where, when you're looking at the label. So I don't know why I'm like, you know, uh, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm having trouble getting into the group. But I do like the candle. I would recommend it if you like uh, fruity type scents mixed with the woodsy uh, smokiness. Um, I do think they're balanced more, so if you smell it cold and you're like, I don't know if the, when I smelled it cold, I didn't know if the smoky uh, fragrance of it was going to come out as much. And luckily, um, when it's burning, it is more of a uh, balanced fragrance with the fruit, uh, the apple, and the smoky note. So, as you can see, it's burning beautifully. Uh, it's got a very deep wax pull. This is the third burn and so far today it's been burning uh, maybe an hour and a half. So got a great, great uh, wax pull on it. And all I did was just, uh, and all I ever do with the Bath & Body Works candles is trim the mushroom tops off before I light them. So if it has little mushrooms, I take those off, but basically I leave the length of the wick. And I generally don't have any problems with tunneling with Bath & Body Works, in fact, I. I don't remember the last one that I did. I, oh, yes, I actually do. It was last year, um, their uh, clove and cinnamon, cinnamon clove bud candle burned horribly for me. But um, this one is burning great. The last one I finished up, uh, blueberry pumpkin patch burned flawlessly all the way down. So, so far, so good. So I'm kind of uh, savoring the others. I haven't lit up any of my other... Um, fall Bath & Body Works candles, but I will definitely be reviewing them as I go. I'm successfully on a wax band. So far I'm going, what, a week and a half strong? However long it's been since I messed up and bought some Walmart cubes. So doing good. So uh, my next videos will definitely be just review videos. So keep looking for them and thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye.